We're going to have um, some remarks from the Deputy First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, um, followed by myself as Chair of the Scottish Human Rights Commission, and then some remarks from Niels Musnik, who's the Human Rights Commissioner for the Council of Europe. But I think for the purposes of today, I think it's really important to emphasise that we're not uh, talking about abstract ideals or academic propositions. Human rights are about how we all live our lives. They're about the dignity to which each and every single one of us is entitled. And as the National Action Plan being launched today makes very clear, human rights address uh, challenges that should be very dear and close to all of our hearts. My job is to help the 47 member states of the Council of Europe to do better in human rights. And one of the ways that countries can do better in human rights is by adopting and implementing National Human Rights Action Plan. So I very much welcome this step and I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an excellent practice and a good model for others to follow. There's not a lot of ownership, neither among the parliament, among uh, civil society, uh, among other stakeholders. Uh, so this open participatory process I think is absolutely key to make the, the plan legitimate. Uh, to engender ownership among all stakeholders and that means the chances of success in implementation are all the greater. SNAP uh, is a big step forward um, for Scotland. It does combine uh, ambition uh, with the necessary realism in helping build a society in which everyone can live a life of human dignity. Now, for us, disabled people feel that they are currently facing the worst crisis ever since before the welfare state. People's rights have been eroded, people have been expected to look for jobs that don't exist and told they're not disabled anymore. Social care budgets can't actually meet the needs of disabled people beyond life and limb cover, so aspirations like learning or working or being involved and participating in your community are just out the window. So this is a really important time for disabled people to try and work in a human rights framework. SNAP's not going to address all of these concerns overnight, but opportunities will definitely arise and one of the things that we like about SNAP is that it mentions the Health and Social Care Integration Agenda and the Public Bodies Joint Working Bill, so that's an example of what we can do in, in the near future very eminently to use SNAP to help us get better human rights for disabled people. I think for the people that, that we represent and that we work with, um, often people tell us about the impact of being viewed in terms of their condition or um, if they're, they're a disabled person in terms of um, a particular impairment um, and not being viewed as equal with other humans, so other people. Um, so we had a round table recently around human rights and somebody uh, who, lives with, who has learning disabilities spoke very powerfully about how important it was for him at a very fundamental level that human rights are about just the very fact that everybody is human and everybody is equal um, and everybody has a right to dignity and respect. So at a very, very basic level I think SNAP really helps to, to put a sharp focus on, on that message. I believe that human rights belong to everybody so there's something we should all be able to believe in and rely upon. They underpin our societies but also our lives. Human rights are relevant to many of the decisions that people make on a, a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's really important that we've got a new national action plan um, because often the assumption is made that people with learning disabilities kind of lack the capacity to participate in the, these kinds of philosophical or moral um, questions and it's really, really critical that we kind of contest that because people with learning disabilities can participate in human rights with support and I think it's really heartening that the Scottish Human Rights Commission has worked from the beginning to say yes, human rights for people with learning disabilities is a really important part of the National Action Plan. Today is a day to give thanks of, to all of you who have been on this journey with us. Uh, although there's been a lot of work has been talked about. This is very much the start of a journey that we're now undertaking. The work really starts from now to make a reality of what's in the action plan. The issues that Niels particularly emphasised of the participatory nature of involving civic society, the political parties, many of you who are represented here today, we give thanks for the support but also look to continue that work with you. What we now want to do is invite you to finish off any of the breakfast and brunch that's, that's still there, to mingle, to talk with each other, to explain to each other how you're going to help us in the next stage of this process and once again to sincerely thank all of you very much for your participation in this process. Thank you very much.